Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels, and welcome back to Earth from Space on the European Space Agency Web TV. This satellite image shows an area about 13 kilometers east of the city of Mafraq in northern Jordan. Sitting geologically between the Syrian desert and the volcanic Haran Plateau, the area experiences a desert climate. The light-colored area is the Zatari refugee camp, measuring some 3 kilometers across. Located just over 10 kilometers from the border with Syria, the camp is currently home to over 100,000 people displaced by the conflict in the neighboring country. Satellite images like this can help to identify suitable locations for large refugee camps, which require traffic connections, water and electricity, and should be in a rather flat area. High-resolution imagery can also be used to monitor these camps and assist humanitarian operations in the region. The Emergency Mapping Service of Europe's Copernicus program uses satellite images to provide geospatial information in support of emergency management efforts. This area has been mapped a number of times to support the construction of the camp, give a detailed view of the structures within the camp, and support drainage work to alleviate flooding. The Sentinel-2 mission being developed for Copernicus will deliver frequent and high-resolution imagery, similar to what we see here, for disaster control and humanitarian relief operations, among other applications. This image was acquired on June 5, 2013, by the Korea Airspace Research Institute's CompSat-2 satellite. Well, that wraps up this edition of Earth from Space. Remember that we broadcast online every Friday at 10 o'clock Central European Summer Time. Watch us on our website or through the ESA app on your mobile device. From the ESA Web TV Studios, I'm Kelsey Brennan-Wessels.